the book I describe three levels of the entrepreneur brain and there's the reptile, the monkey and the empire builder. The reptile is the part of the brain that sees the world as a very scarce place and it sees that all resources are very limited. So it thinks about you know, the business as a pie and anyone else who shows up is clearly going to try and take a slice of the pie. Um, so it's very guarded and protective and it um, doesn't want to partner with anyone, doesn't want anyone to get involved. It's trying to hold on desperately to scarce resources and that's how it works. It's not a long-term part of the brain or a logical part of the brain, highly emotive, um, primitive part of the brain. Um, next part of the brain is the uh, task oriented part of the brain, the functional mammalian brain, the monkey brain uh, that I talk about in the, in the book. It's not a great business builder, it's a good worker so it's good at getting things done um, and completing tasks, easily distracted, doesn't look for the meaning behind the task, it just does whatever it's doing at the time. Um, the part of the brain that builds, builds businesses is this new part of the brain, the empire builder part of the brain. It's the part that has great empathy, compassion, um, it's the part that's highly strategic, um, it's a big thinking expansive part of the brain. The empire building part of the brain sees the world very differently to the reptile. So the reptile says there's scarce resources and I've got to hold on to everything and all that I've got is what I can hold on to. The empire builder says that all the resources already exist on the planet and I need to go out and find whoever's got them now and do a partnership with them. I need to go out and access the resources. I need to have conversations about how those resources can be used. And it's that part of the brain that builds businesses really fast.